Hi, thank you so much for clicking this video. This is Batok with Ola. My name is Mujala Oluwa and I just quickly wanted to share something or a few things with you in this short video. So this morning I was reading my Bible. I read the Bible through almost every year. So I read something in Proverbs chapter 6 uh, verses uh, 16 to 19 and I wanted to read it to you and show you the legal application. Uh, it, says, it says that there are seven things that the Lord hates and cannot tolerate. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that kill innocent people, a mind that thinks of wicked plans, feet that hurry off to do evil, feet that hurry off to do evil, a witness who tells one lie after another, and someone who stirs up trouble amongst friends. So I wanted to look at the legal application of this, uh, and I, I, I found that you know there are equivalents in law to these seven deadly sins. When I read this Bible passage this morning, I thought to uh, I'll do a video on the crime equivalent of these seven deadly sins. So in Nigeria, here are the seven deadly sins. You know, in their crime equivalent, the first is a proud look. A proud look would uh, equal contempt. Contempt, contempt of courts, you know, contempt outside the court. So anyone can fall victim uh, of, uh, or commit, uh, anyone can commit the crime of contempt. And it could be contempt in the face of the court or contempt outside of the court. I'm going to do a full video on that. I've done, if, uh, I've done videos on some of these uh, crimes and I'm going to leave uh, a link to them in the description box. But for those that I have not done videos on, I'm going to do the videos and come back to this video and link them in the description box. So I hope that you watch them. So for the first deadly sin, which is uh, a proud look, we can find the crime equivalent in contempt. Second is a lying tongue. A lying tongue. I wanted to say perjury, but we'll get to that much later. For a lying tongue, we have a misrepresentation. Misrepresentation could be misrepresentation of facts or misrepresentation of law. So we're going to look at them, uh, these two, in another video. But uh, a lying tongue would be misrepresentation. Third is ants that kill innocent people, and that's murder. I've done a video on murder and the defense of provocation uh, when I talked about Shande and the state. I'm going to link it in the description box, but I'm going to do a full video, you know, on the crime of murder itself much later and link it in this video. So the third deadly sin is murder. Hands that shed innocent blood. The fourth deadly sin is a mind that thinks of wicked plans, and that would be conspiracy. Conspiracy. Conspiracy is an agreement between two or more people uh, to do uh, to commit a crime. So I'm going to look at it in greater detail. I think I've done a video on this, but I think it was within uh, uh, inchoate offenses. You know, there's a video on inchoate offenses. So I'm going to do a video on conspiracy itself. It's a very important uh, uh, crime, so to speak, because most criminal charges in Nigeria carry the first charge as conspiracy, because. Uh, in most cases, you have to conspire to do something before you actually do it, especially when it's a crime that's committed by more than one person. So we're going to do a full video on conspiracy. The fourth deadly sin in its crime equivalent is conspiracy. The fifth deadly sin is feet that hurry off to do evil. Feet that hurry off to do evil. And that is uh, attempt. I've uh, linked it to attempt. Attempt uh, is uh, an inquiet offense. We also mentioned it when we we're talking about inquiet offenses, but I'm going to do a fuller video on it if I look through the channel and I find that there's no video a standalone video on attempt. I'm going to do a video on attempt. It's very important too because it's one uh, charge or one crime that keeps coming up. It's uh, a topic that comes up in criminal law classes, criminal litigation classes, and that comes up in court for criminal litigators. So we're going to talk about attempt in a fuller video. That's the fifth deadly sin. Feet that hurry off to do evil attempt. The sixth deadly sin is uh, a witness who tells one lie upon another, and that's perjury. Perjury is lying on oath. There's a full video on perjury. I'll link it in the description box. Please watch it. So that's the fifth deadly sin, perjury. Perjury means lying before the court, lying on oath, lying when you depose to an affidavit, fees, lying even when it's not on oath, misrepresenting and misleading the court, or whoever is reading it, maybe the commissioner for oath, or whoever is uh, endorsing the process to believe that the state of things are one way when they're actually the other way. So that's the sixth deadly sin, a witness who tells one lie after another. And the last deadly sin, the seventh deadly sin, is uh, someone who stirs up trouble amongst friends. Someone who stirs up trouble amongst friends. And I've linked it to the crime of incitement. 
Also, it can be linked to agent provocateur. An agent provocateur is someone that provokes the other person to commit a crime in helping the state now so that they can be caught. But that's not a crime on its own because you are, in most cases, working with law enforcement. But there's already a video on agent provocateurs on the channel. Please watch it. I'll link it as well in the description box. But there is also a crime of incitement, which we're going to be talking about in fuller detail in another video on the channel. So these are the seven deadly sins and their crime equivalents in Nigeria. Make sure you run away from these things, these sins, these crimes, because the Lord hates them, and so does the law. I'll see you in my very next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Toodles!